Yeah. Welcome to another episode of Judd Dad's Podcast. My name is Clint. My name is Mal. And we back with another special guest, Mr. Dan Klitzner. Hopefully I said that right, Klitzner. You did it. All right. All right. See, I can pronounce sometimes. Sometimes I'm good at pronouncing. Uh, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. I, that intro was just amazing. <laughs> I, was, I was ready to go home after that. I thought we saw the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you guys don't know, Mr. Dan, he is, well, let me introduce him like I introduce everybody else. First off, Malcolm, hit the button because you actually finally put a round of applause on your soundboard. <laughs> I got never do. Well, of course, uh, like always, uh, I tell you guys that we find these guests via TikTok or via Instagram, either doing something cool. So I found Dan on TikTok, but I did not find him based off the bop. I found the TikTok that I think he had, like, um, not even, I don't think failed toys or, like, just toys that didn't come out or, like, weren't, like, uh, popular. Produced or whatever. Like, yes. it wasn't produced. Yeah. And that's what I saw. It. And then I was like, I clicked it. I'm like, eh, it'll be nice to have a guy that make toys and all this other stuff. And I clicked his name, not paying attention to his name, that it actually said Bop It Inventor. I was like, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then I did, just did a deep dive on him, invited him. Uh, we've been talking and chatting. We've been setting this up for like probably like a month now, maybe. Probably a little bit less. I'm not sure. But we finally got Dan on the show. I want to say thank you. Welcome. And just tell the people about yourself. Uh, tell the people about yourself and I guess your socials. <laughs> well yeah you saw the uh what's always amazing to me is i've done a lot of uh well a handful of successful you know games and toys but people are so interested in the flops you yeah. know like they they want to know the story of this and that and then the minute i you know i have a lot of flops like if you're going to invent things you know you have to go through a lot of stuff that doesn't work yeah so i just decided uh every once in a while to say you know why did this flop why did this thing flop and it's amazing. One, maybe people just, people just like knowing that you don't succeed at everything, that someone else fails. But it's also you learn a lot from failure. And so I like to talk about, you know, what I think, but so much more interesting to say to everyone, why do you think? And I'll tell you that the answers people come up with are really, really smart. Like, like a few people are being funny and whatever, but for the most part, there's, I get great ideas just, you know, maybe it's too late now because that product flopped, but mm. I love it. I'm going to do more of that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I, I found you. It was pretty dope. Um, but he is the inventor of Bob. But I, like you said over your profile, I guess Malcolm read the message and I just lapped over it. I didn't get a chance to see it. And I saw it today. And I was like, oh, he's done a lot. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I saw the, like the Simon Air. I saw the, perple the Perplexus line. But I was like, he made the Hornitos Tequila. Uh, I guess the bottle design. I'm assuming that's, that. that's right. I did. Hold on. <laughs> See, All right, you got it. <laughs> awesome. it is. Exactly. Awesome. awesome. And then the one, the one that interested me the most at all of that stuff was the Clorox toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> that's right. It's, I think it's, it's, hold on. <laughs> that's that's awesome that you have like everything on on hand too try. this is uh this is the award they gave me for designing it see it's it's a so you a, made that a, wow i, I designed not the graphics but i'm an industrial designer so yeah. i did you know have spent my career designing three-dimensional things and before i was really into designing and inventing toys as i as a freelancer i had a bunch of jobs with companies designing their bottles and so uh yeah, I, this this was, you know, kind of a, a, a in 1993. There it is, right? Yeah, there. I know. I say that's revolutionary still at this point. I still use one of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, that, uh, like, a, like a week ago. <laughs> but I've I've always been interested in things that you hold in your hand. You know, ergonomics. That's in a way you can kind of understand. I'm a really passionate industrial designer that also loves toys and games so if you look at a lot of the things i've created they're sort of a cross between industrial design and they're not board games they're not things mm -hmm. like that they're usually not necessarily electronic you know but but definitely tactile yeah. like you said per perplexus you know i'm really proud of that being more like a sculpture you can put on your table and play with so yeah. that's sort of my goal 